What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to play FC Mobile Soccer on your Windows PC or Mac. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. To play FC Mobile Soccer on your PC, you must use an Android emulator, such as Bluestacks. Click on the first link in the description to get to this page. From here, download the Bluestacks 5 setup installer to your system. This should take a second to complete and you can follow the install wizard to install the application to your system. After the installation is complete, Bluestacks should open up automatically. Next, open up your Play Store and ensure you're logged in with your Google account. Search for FC Mobile Soccer and download the game to your Bluestacks emulator. This might take a few minutes to complete depending on your network connection. While downloading the game, you should take a look at your emulator settings. Click on this gear icon to access these settings. In the Gamepad section, enable the Gamepad Detection option. This will allow Bluestacks to recognize and receive input from your controller. Below, set the Gamepad input settings to automatic and set the Gamepad Vibration option to your personal preference. It may not have any effect on FC Mobile Soccer. After connecting your controller or gamepad, it will be recognized by Bluestacks and show up as an alternative to your keyboard and mouse. In the Performance tab, you should set these according to your PC's performance. Allocate a high amount of CPU cores if you don't have a lot of other applications running in the background. The same goes for your memory allocation. For users with 4GB or less RAM, set this option to low. Under Performance mode, make sure to set this option to balanced. This will reduce the memory and CPU usage if your PC lags or you otherwise encounter low performance. I prefer to enable the high FPS option and set the frame rate of the emulator according to my screen refresh rate. If you need more clarification on your refresh rate, right click your desktop and select Display Settings. From here, make sure that the correct display is selected. Scroll down and click on Advanced Display. This will allow you to preview your refresh rate and change it if you want. Also, if you troubleshoot performance issues, enable the FPS counter option. Set the display orientation to landscape in your display settings and choose a fitting resolution to play FC Mobile Soccer on your monitor. You can also adjust the size of this window by dragging its corners. You can leave the other settings to the default option and play FC Mobile Soccer to see how well it runs on your PC. After logging in, head to your in-game settings. Adjust the gameplay preferences to your liking, as these could differ from those you use on your mobile device. Next, head to the graphics section. Here, lower the graphics mode to medium if you experience lag while in-game. Below, lower the crowd option to low as well as the UI effects option. After adjusting your FC Soccer settings, click on the keyboard icon in your Bluestacks menu bar. Make sure the Game Controls option is enabled and then access your Controls Editor. Add controls such as a D-pad on the left side to control your steering with your control or controller controls. You can adjust the size and buttons of your D-pad or other controls. Make sure to save your changes when you're done. And then you can enable the On-Screen Controls option and change its opacity to see how the controller button layout looks. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.